you did it. You made the jump and you finally decided that you're gonna help other people with some knowledge that you know. You're gonna share stuff with people. You're going to show them how to do something, how to achieve some sort of transformation. Most likely you're a coach or you're creating content and you're, you're trying to help people achieve something that you've achieved. But you notice that when you make all these how-to videos, like this one is, this one's a how-to video, you notice that people just aren't taking the action. They're not doing what's suggested. So what the hell do we do? In case you don't know who I am, my name is Ron Carter and I've worked with around 30 clients over the past couple years, collected around 220,000 in revenue. And I'm gonna share with you a simple framework that I've developed to get clients to take action. And this is the same framework that I use in all of my videos as well. So even if you're just creating content and you're selling like a digital course that somebody else is, maybe as an affiliate where you get a commission, you still want to use this framework inside of your content. Here's the problem. Let's say that we're working with people. We get them enrolled into our program. All of our content is very persuasive. All of that works. We get onto a call with somebody, they pay us, and then we start working with them. And then they don't, they don't do the things that we're suggesting. And then we sit back and we wonder like, like, why is this happening? People aren't getting results. They're not taking the action. And so here's the problem. When I was doing this, I wasn't selling people on taking the action. I was selling people on joining my program. I was showing them like all the reasons why, telling stories to break false beliefs so that they can see that it's possible for them and they want to come in. And But once they're in, I just was like, here's what to do. And we, I wasn't selling them on why they should continue doing it, why they should start taking action, why they should do it right now. And I wasn't selling them on continuing to take it. This really sucks when this happens because yeah, we start a coaching business or we start helping people because we wanna make money, right? But at the same time, we want to actually help other people get results. And when we help people get results, guess what? They go tell other people about it. And then those other people come to us and then we have more clients. It's like, we want everybody to be happy. And so it really sucks when somebody pays you and then they don't like show up or take any action or do anything. It's like, because in one way you feel like you got to win because you got a client, but then you feel like you got a major loss because the client didn't do anything, didn't get any results, and then you don't feel good, right? And we all want to feel good. So how do we do this? What is the framework? What is the formula? And it's very, very, very simple. I'm going to break it down for you right now. The framework is called what, why, how, now. And I use this in all of my content, most of my content, sometimes I forget, just being straight up, but I use this in most of my content. I especially use this in content that is delivered uh, in a course or when people pay for something and then they're getting premium content because of that. I always use this in there. It sells the action that you're getting people to take. This way they actually move, they actually do it instead of just watching videos and feeling good and then having nothing changed in their life. So whenever you're making a video, you already know what the how is. If you're making some sort of how-to video like this, this is a how-to video, I already knew what the how-to part is, but that's not the thing that I start off with talking about. I start off with the what. It's like what we're gonna cover in this video, what this video is about. And it's very short, it's very sweet. I said it at the beginning of this video, this is how to get coaching clients to take action or to move. Very simple. The next part of the framework is why. Why is this important? And I tell a brief story about why it's important. This is the selling part. This is the part where it's like, I'm persuading them to continue watching the video and to take action afterwards. After I've stated what the video is about, and then I've stated why it's important, now I can finally move on to the how. This is the basically the meat of the video, of that training module or whatever it is. So, okay, how to whatever, whatever it is that you're helping people do. Now you can get into your actual expertise, right? So we state what it is that, that we're doing or that we're teaching them. We're stating why it's important for them, usually telling a story about what it was like before you, before you did this how-to thing and how it sucked and then what it's like after, after you started doing this and how it doesn't suck now. 
That's so we're stating what it is, why it's important, and then we get into the actual material. We get into the how. Finally, once you've wrapped up with the meat and potatoes of your expertise, then we go into the now portion. And now is it's basically getting them to do something right now. Even if you don't have a call to action where they click a link and go buy something, maybe they're already in a course, you don't have anything for, else for them to buy, you still want them to take some sort of action right now. The, the last thing that we want for anybody who's consuming our material is to just go on a content binge. If we really want these people to get some sort of transformation, watching video after video after video isn't gonna do it. Nobody has ever changed their life because they watched a million videos in a row. People have changed their life because they watched a bunch of videos and then they went out into the world and did something with the information. That's what changes our life, right? So we want to get the people that we're serving to take some sort of action after watching our video. Something, even if it's small, like commenting, saying what their thoughts are on it. I mean, even if they're commenting, they're still, they're moving their thumbs, right? Like they're taking some sort of action, they're doing something. And, uh, and if it's a how-to video, you can have people go out into the world and do something. If it's in a course or a training program or a community, have them go out in the world and execute on what you just talked about and then come back and comment what they did. This keeps people accountable. This gets them to go out there and take some sort of action and do something and then come back and report their findings. And it ingrains the habit in them of watching some content and then doing something. So that's the framework. What, why, how, now. And just a disclaimer, even when you do this, not everybody is gonna take action. You're gonna see a higher percentage of people taking action for sure, but you're not gonna see 100% of people taking action. That's just the nature of human beings. There's always going to be people who don't do exactly what you say. Like, get over it. <laughs> like, that's, that's what it is, right? Um, but you'll be able to identify the people who are taking action on the stuff that you're saying and that you're doing. And then you're able to allocate more of your focus on them. Because you know, like, these are the people who are going to take action, who are going to take the suggestions, and most likely are going to get the results. So let me focus a little bit more on them instead of focusing on the people who just aren't doing anything. So now that you've checked this out, I really genuinely want to know, do you do this in your content? Do you sell people on taking the action, letting them know why it's important before you even tell them what it is that you're doing? Or, or have you not done this? I see a lot of people that are like just telling off the wall stories that don't even relate to the how to part. And then they lose people on their video. This happens to me. If I watch a YouTube video and somebody starts going on about their day, about laundry, about going to the beach, like the day before, I'm just like, just get to the part where you tell me what to do. Like I'm trying to learn something here. And I, usually I leave. Uh, but when somebody starts talking about the thing immediately, they start telling me why it's important. I'm like, I'm locked in. I'm like, all right, let's go. And then they tell me the thing and then I go do it. So uh, have you done this in your content? Let me know in the comments below. That's the, that's the now portion for this video. Let me know if you've tried this. Let me know if you haven't tried this. Let me know if you're going to try this, what your thoughts on it are, and we'll see you in the next video.